today i'm going to show you how shape keys work inside of blender visually it is going to be a three part video series the first part i'm going to explain to you how shape keys work in the second part we are going to be creating this animation inside of blender and in the third part i'm going to show you how i lighted and textured this so this is going to be the best shape keys blender tutorial out there so let me grab some pen and paper and let's get this tutorial started So let's start off by drawing the basic shape first. I'm going to start with a triangle. Well I know this isn't perfect but uh, this will definitely get the point across. So right now we have two shapes. The first one is this one. This is our shape number one and this is our shape number two. So right now this point has three vertices or three points while this has six. So if I'm going to add a shape key to this shape and make this our second shape which it should deform to this is what will happen because this shape only has three points while this has six what will happen is these are some possibilities of what could happen a triangle can be made like this or maybe a triangle could be made like this or it could be made like this these are the different shapes that can happen if we are going to add a shape key to this object so why is this happening and that brings us to the first thing that you should be aware of when creating shape keys. Both the shapes should have the same number of vertices. So now we understood what happens if both the shapes don't have the same vertices, right? So let's make this have the same number of vertices. So now these two shapes have the same number of vertices, right? So it should work. So what should ideally happen is this point goes over here while this point goes over here, this one over here, this one over here, this one over here and this one over here. And right now the post morph should work properly because every point has an exact location where to go at. So it should work, right? But the question is where does this point know where to go? Why can't this point go over here and this point go over here? And that will create a lot of problems. Like for example, what happen if this point goes over here? Let's see, like an intermediate between this shape morphing to this shape, something like this can happen if the point doesn't know where to go. So how does the point know where to go? The answer to that is each point has a number. And that brings us to the second most important thing, which means it's a sequence that goes from zero to n number of vertices. And this is how each vertice knows where to go while applying a shape key. Zero will go to zero, one will go to one, two will go to two, and that's how it works. So these are the two most important things that you should understand about shape keys. And then the second question is, okay, how do I make sure that all these sequences are kept properly? So in other words, the most efficient way to do it would be to start with the triangle first. And I'm going to deform each of these points to create our hexagon. And this would be the best way to get the correct results. Start with the base shape first and deform to get our second and third and fourth shapes. And now let me show you how this works inside of Blender. I'm going to add a circle, set the number of vertices to three so that we get a triangle. I'm going to take this point and make it aligned to the grid. Okay, great. Now we only have three vertices, right? Subdividing this. And right now we have six vertices. Okay, now it will work with the hexagon we have. So I'm going to go into our shape keys and I'm going to hit plus which means it is going to save this point positions. And I'm going to hit plus once more because we need to morph it to a different shape, right? And now what I'm going to do, is I'm going to move the points to create a hexagon. And now if I'm going to increase the value, you can see it is morphing between these two shapes. And that is a very quick overview on how shape keys work. In the next tutorial, I'm going to show you how this morphing works. Subscribe for more Blender stuff and thanks for watching.